Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply. This video is to bring you a closer look at the BSUM number 50-05-043. This is a top pivot um, door portion is what it is. Here's what that plate looks like. You're generally going to see it installed just like this. With that top pivot pin coming down into the center of this bushing that's there, which I believe is to be which is a bronze bushing, very likely, with some white lithium, white lithium grease on it as well. Um, this video will serve as visual and dimensional evidence of the item. Overall length, looks like it's about five and three eighths. Overall width, about an inch and a quarter. From the end to the center line, about four and three quarter. Thickness looks like it's about 150 thousandths. Let's take a look at what this actually measures. 0 0.178, 0 0.178 thick. 0 0.178. It's going to include the three screws, three star type washers. Okay, you'll have three of each. Installation of this would put two of those screws through two of the three slotted holes, then once you know that you've got the right position on the door, secure that hole right here, that fixed hole, so to keep that from moving at all on you. Let's switch to the screen view now and let's take a closer look at some supporting information. If you are enjoying this video, please click thumbs up or like, and also please consider subscribing to our channel. Let's move on to the rest of the video. Here's the item that we are looking at. Okay, got some images linked to down below we can take a closer look at. Just other perspectives on this material. Bronze is a typical bushing used because it's a self-lubricating metal very much used when you have pieces moving against each other or within each other I suppose. The opposite side and then your fasteners. For automatic doors, top pivot door portion, regular duty. I've got this listed for a slider. I don't see um, I don't see that that's uh, going to necessarily be accurate. This would be for like their swing master is where you'd see this. Obviously a center hung sort of installation. Okay. Now there's a link below this video here to the manufacturer's page. From there you can pull up not only all of the Beesum products that we sell by means of this horizontal navigation here, but also a link to the manufacturer's website as well as link to several encyclopedic documents, parts manuals, wiring diagrams, things of that nature. Let's wrap up this video on camera. If you are enjoying this video, please click thumbs up or like, and also please consider subscribing to our channel. Let's move on to the rest of the video. In conclusion, you've got enough cycles on an automatic door, you're sure going to have a need to do some maintenance when it comes to mechanical hardware like pivots. Top pivots really not so much because they don't do um, you know, any of the work of carrying the load. They're just keeping the door from falling out of the opening. Um, you know, So they do a small amount of work in that regard, but it's not like a bottom pivot. That you're going to replace all the time. Not all the time, but you'll replace that far off, more often than you would a top pivot. But nonetheless, if you are, uh, you know, you have enough cycles, you'll even see a top pivot wear out as well, such as the case for this client here. If you have any questions on the Beesum, this is their part number 50-05-043, top door portion pivot, or any other Beesum product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you. Again, thank you for watching. And if you've enjoyed this video, please click thumbs up. Please subscribe and maybe even send the video to someone that you know. Thank you.